This is the L2SI Report. Dispatches from a rapidly changing, rapidly improving world. Good news headlines, plus a tip for improving your own world. And now, here's the host of the L2SI Report, Bill Bowers. Thank you, Michael Sargent. Live to see it, friends. I'm Phil Bowermaster, welcoming you to this first ever video edition of the L2SI Report. Like the audio version of the L2SI Report and the blog feature Better All the Time that preceded it, the L2SI Report is a collection of dispatches from a rapidly changing, rapidly improving world, where we cover not just good news, but those particular developments that indicate progress for humanity as a whole. So what kind of developments are we talking about? Well, let's take a look at a few examples. Item 1. As anyone who watches the popular jaywalking feature on The Tonight Show can tell you, the random people that you meet on the street are pretty stupid and only getting dumber with each passing day. We all know that the schools have utterly failed us and that each new generation is a lot less bright than the one that came before. Add to that the well-established trends showing that people are only getting meaner, shallower, and more violent, and you start to see a very unpleasant future unfolding. Fortunately, that all turns out to be wrong. Writing for TCS Daily, Arnold Kling notes that research shows that human intelligence is actually increasing. Says Kling, One of the most dramatic illustrations of the cognitive improvement is the Flynn effect, which demonstrates that average IQ has been rising steadily in many countries for most of this century. Average IQs in Britain may be more than two standard deviations higher than they were a hundred years ago, which says that the average citizen today would have been in the top 5% of intelligence early in the 20th century. So that's a good start. People are getting smarter. But better? Well, Klein goes on to cite research showing that the rate of violent death around the world is actually going down. Which is a pretty astounding statistic when you consider the horrific wars our world has faced over the past century. He also notes that, worldwide, we see trends towards allowing greater rights to women and to minorities. And he suggests that maybe, just maybe, our global economy is actually helping to bring different kinds of people together. So, people who wouldn't have had any reason to trust or interact with each other in the past are now learning to get along thanks to the magic of mutual economic interest. Maybe that part sounds a little bit like kind of a long shot, but then most of us probably wouldn't have guessed that people are getting smarter, would we? So who knows? Are people getting better? Here's hoping they are. Arnold Kling's piece can be found at tcsdaily.com. Item 2. I wrote last week about a scenario that sounded like something right out of a science fiction novel from the middle part of the 20th century. Picture this. The tough, visionary entrepreneur and his team of engineers test a new spacecraft out in the desert. In the pre-dawn hours, a truck hauls the craft from the hangar to the launch pad. The chuck wagon serves biscuits cooked over an open fire. A makeshift playground is set up for the kids. At dawn, the rocket is launched to the thunderous applause of the onlookers. The entrepreneur opens an oversized bottle of champagne. Well, that sounds like a pretty good story, doesn't it? Well, it really happened. On November 13, 2006, that's the day Blue Origin, an aerospace startup and the brainchild of Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, launched Goddard, a first trial run of their New Shepard spacecraft. The company's website describes the New Shepard as a vertical takeoff, vertical landing vehicle designed to take a small number of astronauts on a suborbital journey into space. Now that's pretty cool. Item 3. Here's a tip for improving your own world. Over the past few weeks, folks have been making, and most likely breaking, New Year's resolutions all over the place. Well, if you really want a new and improved version of yourself, maybe it's time to stop thinking about resolutions and start thinking about upgrades. Blogger Michael Anisimov at Accelerating Future lists the top 10 cybernetic upgrades that everyone will want. Improved appearance, super strength, immunity to disease, super intelligence, and the ability to fly all made the list. Look, I'm sure many of us had some pretty ambitious New Year's resolutions, but did anybody think to include the ability to fly? A link to Michael's blog can be found at acceleratingfuture.com. Well, that about does it for this time. Thanks for joining us for a quick peek into a better world that's well on its way. Until next time, I'm Phil Bowermaster. Live to see it. The L2SI Report is a speculative production.